Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Penny Can Explain. I'm here with a makeup tutorial for you guys. I will be doing a very vibrant, nighttime, shimmery, glitter, glitter look. Um, I'll be going into my Take Me Back to Brazil palette um, during this video most of the time, honestly. I'll be using a lot of pinks and purples to achieve this look. So stay tuned and we're going to jump right into it. So because I already kind of have a base going on, I got foundation and brows done, I'm just going to jump right into my eyeshadow. So I'm going to zoom in for you guys in this next clip and I'll be showing you how I achieve this pink fairy dust glittery something right now. So first I'm going to go into priming my lids with this um, Black Radiance Perfecting Eyeshadow Primer. And it's pretty white. Um, I'm trying to go for that so it can pop a lot more. Um, so I already have it like on the back of my hand. I had to let it dry down to see how it like dries down. So this is the consistency. We just going to try it and then see how we go from there. This is what it looks like. It's really white. It's, it's like, I don't know. I'm just going to go in with the eyeshadow brush and I'm going to like dab that one because if I use a flat one, it won't do what I need it to do. So I'm just kind of like pushing this in and buffing it out at the same time. a little white. I actually need to grab my mirror. Oh no, it's looking like Patchy the Pirate on his side. Hopefully, <laughs> nah, I can't leave that like that. I can't blend that out either. Oh well, listen, you get what you get. So I'm gonna go into that Take Me Back to Brazil palette. I can never really say the name. As you guys can see, this is the palette. And this is from BH Cosmetics, if you don't know. These are the colors. They look really, really pretty. Neon pink one, like, you guys can see that? It? It's like a really neon pink. So I'm gonna go with that with this Luxie brush. And make sure you guys start tapping off that excess because that really makes a break a look. Actually, I lied. They have a mirror on this. Yes. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. Don't even look at that. Don't look at that. Mind your business. Alright, so I'm going in with that neon pink color because I already dapped it up a little bit. So y'all can see. Tap the excess. You know? So I'm just going to use this actually. And I'm going right into my crease and I'm just going to pat it on. Like, I honestly think I might need to go in with a, a concealer to make it more sticky. Um, we're going to see how it goes for the...
I am about to conceal my eyes to preserve this halo thing. <laughs> So this is the glitter that I'll be using. Let me actually zoom in. So I don't know who it's by, but it is Lava Lavender. And I know I picked this up from Sally Beauty when I did like get this glitter because I thought it was super pretty. It looks like fairy dust. I'm going in with my e.l.f. liner by the way, e.l.f. Uh, liquid liner in the color charcoal. Um, I use this all the time because it's affordable and drugstore approved. I mean, it's not too bad. This is a funky little look, though. Like, I don't know what I was thinking, y'all. I'm going to keep it real. So, the, the lashes that I will be, I don't I don't know, I'll be choosing from is the the Kiss Whipsy Next Generation and the Style Pompadour. So, these are really pretty. I showed you guys these in my last video. Um, 
I love Ardell lashes. They're like my they're my, my favorite, okay? I can find who I am in these lashes in every style. Um, these are the Ardell double ups in um number 207. So these are really like yeah, these are really lit. Um and I also got these Ardell Professional 3D Full Mink lashes. I've never bought these before, but they like I told you, it was the beauty event going on with CVS. So I decided I'll pick up a lot of things. And um yeah, this lash was really pretty. So this is look like it's similar to the double up, but you guys can see the difference. So yeah, I don't know which ones I'll go in with. I probably should think of that like right now. And because this is kind of a dramatic look, I'm really thinking that I want to do the Ardells. Like, I don't know how I feel about these. These are really big, so I think I'm just going to go in with this. As you guys can see, I have my lashes applied. And they look pretty full. I do like it. Um, I'm actually going to go in and start doing my face now. Um... Like I said, I already have foundation. I'm going to apply a very bright concealer. And only because I, um, I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I'm lying. That's not what it is. Um, I'm not going to apply an actual very light concealer. I lied. I lied. I lied. Um, I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer. And it's in the number 119. Um, it's actually pretty bright. I like this concealer. Um, it's close to my skin tone, but it's bright. I don't know how else to further explain that, but that's just the place. I'm gonna be using this pure sponge. Um, I'm gonna rock with this until the wheels fall off. I don't care about what anyone says. So it is damp. That's why it's expanded. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and blend that out. This is really gold. I ain't that damn gold. I'm gonna have to correct it. So this is the same concealer, the same BH Cosmetics, um, in the number 117. And it's a lot more like, um, I don't know if I want to say this is neutral. I'm not really good with the scale like that. But as you can see, it's brighter than that one. And that's what I needed, so... I'm not going to put um, any concealer under my contour. I'm just going to use a lighter powder to do that. So I'm actually going to do that first while I'm about to set under my eyes. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys what powder it was. Um, so it's Maybelline's 
um, shine free loose powder I kind of like these chalky powders they just do it for me a little bit better so I use these instead um, I also like this wet and wild um, photo focus in the color deep so I'm gonna be using that to set under my under eye along with the Maybelline so I'll probably just take a little bit of both not too much because I don't want to make a weird you know shadow under my eye or anything so I just took a little bit of the Maybelline and a little of this powder as you can see it's a lot more brown you guys can see the difference one's brown and the other one's really really like pale so I'm gonna go up on here and I'm just gonna push in I lied this is not the the um the blender I was supposed to use so let me just even it out so I did want to show you guys this blender that I got I love 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 it for powders it like it is perfect so it is a So Real Techniques um, sponge and it is like microfiber kind of. So I'm going to use this sponge to actually set my face with those two powders. I'm going to go into it the same way that I just did with the other one. And I'm just going to press in. A lot of them want to bake really. I'm going to do this very light. Um, it's like this brown color is like a mix between banana and a dark um, face powder kind of I mean I don't mind it because my face turns out flawless after this so it doesn't really bother me but I wasn't even trying to be and now I am so I'm gonna take that on the bridge of my nose and also on my forehead very lightly My nose right here. I feel like I'm gonna be super chiseled, honey. So I kind of already brushed off my um, highlight under my eyes because I didn't want it to bake too long, and my camera died. So you guys, I want to have to bear with me. Um, I also applied some highlighter. I actually used this palette from Target and it is by Profusion and this is the, the palette called Sienna's. Um, this is really a beautiful palette like and I love the color payoff. Um, I used this golden shade. Okay let me show you guys. I used this golden shade up here. Um, it's really pretty. I also contoured my nose as you can see. Um, I'm going to go in to my True Complexion Contour Palette by Black Radiance. And I'm going to actually do my contour right now. I'm going to take this dome brush and I'm going to make it super, super quick. Um, not too extra fancy today because I did an under, like a reverse contour. So as you can see, I'm just going to keep it simple to the sides. warm it up a little bit and I'm using that classic blush palette by BH Cosmetics that top and that the top highlighter in that bottom shade so I already started applying some and I already told you guys I like to use a lot of blush because my face is really round <laughs> um, so like I'm, I'm not going in with a lot of that highlighter I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm just gonna do it very lightly you see 
I don't need too much. By the way, as you can see, I already got my Foxy Brown on with my dark lip. And I put too much of that. So I'm gonna tone this down by going back in with that contour brush and just going over to smooth everything over. Uh, I'm going for a nude lip with gloss. As per usual, that's my favorite thing to do. I'm going to go into my NYX Matte Lip Cream in the color Stockholm and go right into the middle of this. I do love a dark line, so I don't mind that um, the dark the line looks very foxy brownish. Um, yeah, so I'm going to keep it very very simple I decided that I would add a little bit more light to the middle because it was looking a little scar a little scar so I'm going in with this black radiance um, lip gloss I can't tell of the color as you can see it faded off but this used to be one of my favorites um, so I decided that I'll use this um, it smells so good it smells like candy. It smells like, ooh, this goes perfect with my eyes. So this is the finished product, guys. I was in such a rush. Actually, I'm lying, that is not it. I have been lying this whole time just to keep that going. I've been lying consistently. Um, I meant to add uh, mascara on the bottom. I'll be using this Wet n Wild Mega Length um, mascara. I actually really do like this. I didn't think that I would like it because of the applicator. It's so thin and rubbery, and I like more of a more blossom applicator like this. As you can see, there's a big difference. Um, I love this mascara, by the way. It's by BH Cosmetics called Stellar Lash, but um. This really gets in the nooks and crannies. Like, I actually really love this mascara. Um, I normally add my little moles and stuff. And I kind of want to, but I don't find that it's necessary for this look. I feel like that's when I'm on my... That's when I'm on my, you know I'm saying? Like, is you coming for me? Because you ain't coming for me. You not even coming for me. Let's get you right, Barbie. I have my crunch going on. Because I ain't starting from the bottom. Like an angry. I don't deserve wigs. By the way, this wig. Oh, yeah. I'm at the, I was going to do a review video on these two wigs that I purchased recently. But honestly, right here, right now, is the best time to talk about this wig. Um, I did customize this wig. I put a lot of tweaking to it, a lot of tweezing, and a lot of um, TLC to this wig. Um, yeah, because before it looked really wiggy straight out the box. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see it a little better. So, I did do a lot of tweezing to the part in the front of this unit. And I added, you know, I did the little baby hair on the side. Um, baby hair is on. Oh, by the way, this is not human hair. This is a synthetic wig. And I want to tell you guys who is by. This wig is by, oh, it's by Sensational. I didn't even know that. Um, the collection is the Sheer Muse collection. Um, this wig is fire as fuck. Like, I don't even know what to say about it. Like, it's just so beautiful. I feel like a vixen in this wig. As you can see, when you make it, it's beat, baby, you beat. Okay, I'm going to show y'all how long it is. This is really, really long. It's like at my boobies. I love this wig. It looks so natural. Like, people are like, who did your lace for? And me, girl, I'm lying. Sensational. They did it. Um... This is, and her name is Skylar, and this is in a 1B. I love, 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 love this wig. Um, it just brushes out. It's not like shedding or anything. 
it's really so beautiful y'all like i love this wig and this wig honey it is lit like this is so beautiful y'all like i don't even know what more i can say like i had to bring it down just so y'all really can see like it's so pretty it's so pretty and flowy like look at how beautiful this wig is look at how gorgeous i look okay so y'all gotta feel me on that but i will catch you guys in my next video i just had to show y'all and let y'all know about this good old secret of this wig catch you in my next one see you guys Mwah. peace